Hi everyone, welcome back to the Java class. Let us continue the journey to learn exceptions in Java programming language. In today's session, you will learn how to add a nested try block in Java. So here, this is a try block. Let us add one more try inside a try block. So we will simply write the try. So this is the inner try block. This is the outer try block. Let us see how it will work. So let me add some code inside it and x is equal args dot length. So here the number of command line argument will be stored inside a variable x and you can display the value of x is equal x. So let us run this program and let's see what will be the output of it. So here you can see it will show x is equal zero and it will show the statement after catch. It is showing x is equal zero because we have not set any command line arguments. So let me just add one more statement like int y is equal that 12 divided by x and you will display the value of y here, right? Value of y is equal y here, right? So here the value of x is zero and you are dividing this 12 by zero. So definitely it will generate some exception that is divide by zero exceptions and divide by zero exception can be handled by arithmetic exceptions. So this is the outer try block and inside this catch, let me just add a exception class arithmetic exception or inside it you can add just or you can display some statement like divide by zero. So I can write divide by zero or if you would like to display more information about the exceptions, you can just put the e object here. So just run this application and let's see what will be the output of it. Here you can see it is showing x is equal zero and inside a try block, some exception will be generated and it will just immediately move to the corresponding catch block. So whenever some exception will be generated in the line number eight, so control will directly move to the this outer catch block and that exception will be handled by the arithmetic exception class and will display a message divided by zero and it will display the information which is contained in the object E. And after that, it will display the statement, statement after catch. Your program is behaving normally and your exception is handled properly. So let us add more statement inside it or let me just add some command line argument so you will go to run configuration and you can add some command line argument inside the argument tab so i will add one inside it apply and run you will see the behavior of the program so now it is perfectly fine x is equal one y is 12 and it will it is showing statement after catch so we have passed one command line argument that's why it is showing x is equal one and then it will divide 12 by 1. So the value of y is 12. And there is no exception occurred in the try block. So when no exception will be occurred inside a try block, it will come to this nested try and catch. So right now we don't have any statement inside this nested try catch. Then it will come to the after catch. This and will display statement after catch. So let us add some statement inside the inner try block that is a nested try block, right? So let me add some condition like if x is equal equal one. So we will update the value of x is equal like x divide x is equal x divide x minus x. So whenever the command line argument the value of x will be zero, it will generate generate divide by zero exception right divide by zero exception in this case let me add one more condition if x equal equal to so here you can just create some array of integer like one comma two comma three right so and you can just make some statement like 
num5 is equal 100. So what we are doing, if number of argument will be 2, number of argument will be 2, we will create an array of integer of length 3 and here we are assigning the value 100 to the index 5 that is not exist. So whenever some exception will be occurred inside it, so here this catch block will handle it, right? Catch block will handle it. So in this case, some exception will be occurred like index out of bound, right? Index out of bound, right? So here you can write array index of bound exception or you can display some statement inside it, okay? The statement may be like that. You can add some statement like array index of bound, right? Array index of bound and you can display the object E here, right? So let us run this program and understand the behavior of it. So presently the value of x is 1. So let me just run this program. Let's see what will be the output of it. So here we go. You can see it is showing the output that x is equal 1, y is equal 12 and it is showing divide by 0. So let me just show you how it is working. So the value of x is 1. So it is showing x is 1. Then it is showing y is equal 12. Then everything is fine inside these statement. Now it will come, it will check the value of x is equal 1. So it will come to this line. And it will generate some divide by 0 exceptions. So whenever some exception will be occurred inside this, so immediately your control will come to this catch block. So inside this catch block, we are just we have written the class name that is array index out of bound exception. So this inner catch block will not be able to handle this kind of exceptions. So it will fall through to the outer catch. Please remember this part. If inner catch block will not be able to handle the exceptions, so it will fall through towards the, the outer catch block and it will check. Here you can see the arithmetic exception class is present. So this will handle the exception and it is showing divide by zero and showing some information, then it will come to the statement after catch. So this is the way how we are just adding uh, the nested try catch block. Let me just add some more thing inside it. Let me add one more command line argument inside this program and you will see the behavior of this program. Okay, no, no, this not this way. Go to run as, go to the run configuration and how to add one more command line argument. You will go to the argument tab you can add like to one more argument, click on apply and run. You can see what is the output now. The output is changed. Let me just show you how it is working, right? Output is this one. So this is the code. Uh, let me just show you properly. So this is, I think you can see all everything. This is the try and catch. And this is the nested part of it. So here you can see now it is showing x is equal to number of arguments are 2. It will display y is equal 6. 12 divided 2 is 6. It will come to the nested try block. Inside it what we are doing. We are just checking the value of x is equal equal 1. No. So this condition is failed. Now it will come to this part. Means x is equal equal 2. So when this condition will be true it will come inside if loop. And it will check yes. We have created an array of size 3 and inside line number 16, we are just accessing uh, index 5 which is not present and we are trying to assign some value to it. That is 100 value we are trying to assign to the index 5. So here in this line number 16, some exception will be generated, right? Some exception will be generated. The exception name will be array index out of bound exception. When some exception will be generated, so control will move to the catch block, right? So this is the nested catch block and this nested catch block will be able to handle that kind of exceptions. 
and it will display array index of out of bound. I can write array index out of bound. So it will show array index out of bound and this will show java.length array index out of bound exceptions index 5 out of bound for the length 3. Then this catch inner catch block means will handle this kind of exceptions. Then it will not come to the outer catch because the exception is already handled and it will not move to the next outer catch block and it will just come after the outer try block statement that is statements after the catch and the output is statement after the catch. So guys, this is the way how can you just use the nested try catch and how can you apply and how this nested catch try catch block will flow, right? So I hope you understand the concept of nested try catch block and you understand how this exceptions will work and how this flow will go on. So please do the practice of it. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and just subscribe the channel and enjoy this video and do the practice of it. So guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next class. Bye-bye. Have a great day.